Hello, everybody. Welcome to the real 20 sub special. For this episode, I will be presenting the old Bionicle figures I have. They're not really figures, more something I actually made on my own. So, first things first. Let's go over here. Look at this. This is one of the first ones I made. It's old. It's made with like a. It's not exactly Bionicle, but you know, there's stuff they use in Bionicle, so. I think it's handsome. These are all mocks, by the way. All me made. This is just a little something that's got a little spring where you can see right there. So, sort of like, bounce as you roll it. And it does roll. It also does that, too. Also, put this little horn thing on here. I don't even know how I managed to make that though in the first place, concerning how intricate all the pieces are, but now yeah. this was made when I was obsessed with Dead Space 2, at least. See, I got like the little, I got with the little uh, action figure style characters, and I basically just, I got all the pieces, it's all made by the same uh, action figure thing, see, and it's sort of like, supposed to waddle on like this and stab with this thing, you know, this has got like a stringy long tail, if I can do this with one hand. Don't want to break it though. Yeah, most of the stuff really isn't for playing with for me, I just like build it and then I like... And here's another Dead Space one. I think this is a much better one, because it was made with one of the newer, newer-ish models. See, it's got like the whole, this is probably the basic Necromorph thing. It's got like the whole uh, arms come out, they contort, the head like, I think the head is pretty good though. And I just like twisted up all the pieces and extended the body and like everything so like, to so try and freaking spider. Put that back around it. Here, have, uh, I call them a torn crab, it was made from like the Baraka era, whatever it is when I made like anti-heroes. It is pretty simple really. I actually made it with about two part, two little Matorn things. You see there's like no actual heads, just that. Also, it, it has like multiple extended, so it can like twist in different forms. I think it's pretty cool. It stands up pretty easily by itself. And um, right here is something I put a lot of work into. Might have seen this before. Anyway, what this thing is, uh, it was made when I was uh, like in my um, uh, obsession with the thing. I had like, I don't know, a piece or something, they would like go into that and... So basically what I came out with was this. You know, some multi-armed, dangerous, uh, threatening creature. See, it's got like a whole um, uh, crab leg thing right there. You can see there's like a little, little space right there, I'll show you later in a second. And the head is actually made up of uh, a few parts myself added. <clears throat> Again, this is all me made. It's a little bit twisted there. It's cool. And the thing about this though is that you know the thing where like there's parts that come off? Well, I think I'm pretty sure I made this so that this part could come off, like right here. You know? Just. Like I said, this is me made, so I don't think that I would actually get it right. Oh, well, as you can see, this is like a giant claw thing. Like multiple arms, and it's just completely disgusting. It like, what I thought it did is that it ejected off that, and it would go and like find more, uh, on other bionicle giant creatures. And like I can talk with them and twist them and such. So again, this is a bit of a thing. So, and right here we have something I made that's called like a not called, but it is actually a um, uh, glove. I believe I was ma it was made for the. Uh, see, I never really got it to actually work the way I wanted it to, but it does fit. It does fit around my head. I don't think anyone's really tried that before because. Well, you know, they really, really had uh, as slender fingers as I do. But yeah, I had more before. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, obsessive compulsive disorder people beware, because this thing is 
is this hell. And I'm gonna lay it down because honestly, I can never really get this thing to stand up straight. Uh, anyway, oh, uh, this was the time when I was just throwing whatever I could onto a giant mock figure because you know you can see that compared to this giant coach right here, pretty big. Not really though. As you can see, there's like a little bit of something weird with the head. Uh, I'll show you that in a second. But right now, you see there's like this arm weapon thing attached to it. Yes, this thing is pretty twisted up. Oh, god, look at that thing. It doesn't even serve a purpose to it, it's just there. This is one of my more disturbing years. Anyway, this thing is like twisted up. See, like, swings around and search. It's also a weird ass claw hand right there, too. You know, see? It's like a useless hand, pretty much. It doesn't really do what it's supposed to do. Take a look at this. This is just something else that I made up. This is a fucking giant hand. It does this. Of course, not exactly useful. Again, this is during my really weird era. And now I will show you the head, which is like, touch the neck. Ta-da! Yep. The whole mouth just comes wide open. Like a freaking piranha plant. Anyway, that's that one. During my creepy phase. I'll put that back. And last but not least, Pierre stares these dawns by giant ass whatever the hell that thing is. This thing is contorted all to the source of hell. It's built. The head is so heavy it can't even hold itself up. Damn, look at this thing, look at this. This is a giant pointer thing. It's also a freaking Right, it's a damn freeze ray. So, see, I can like couple the back up up there. This is the whole head right here. This is the entire head. It's just some giant ass bug thing. As you can see, it basically contorted like this some uh, creature sort of thing and added just a whole bunch of freaking bulk weight into the back. Okay. Uh, Anyway, as you can see, the thing isn't exactly built that good. Although it is, like, pretty freaking big, though, if I do say so myself. Even though, you know, it's all my awful thing, it doesn't exactly stay solid. Man, this thing is, <laughs> uh, pretty freaking heavy. As you can see, I made it with, like, a whole bunch of other old things, if you can recognize them. Colorful as they are. There's the Vaki, the old, old, old by Uncle, probably when it started being popular. And there's like Mask of Light, Vaki, Miserak, Balrakal, they were like my favorite by Uncle back then, uh, and other stuff. I got pretty much jammed up the ass, is what it seems. Uh, yeah. Anyway, that was my 20th sub special. I hope you all enjoyed. Because I enjoyed it just as much as you did. <laughs>